The operator of a Hamilton County Youth Residential Treatment Center says it's shutting down operations at Hillcrest Academy. The county already took kids out of there this spring after a former employee was accused of sexual abuse. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Otley shows you what comes next. We're told dozens of employees have lost their job. Now, Hamilton County is looking toward the future, holding a listening session to hear what the public wants to see as Hillcrest Academy moves forward. What we try to do is try to impact their life. Sheila Davis was more than a supervisor at Hillcrest Academy. She was a mentor, a friend. I think what a lot of times what people must understand, the trauma. When these kids come in. Now she's one of about 70 staffers who will lose their jobs as the current operator will move out the rest of the kids. It really is sad. Most importantly, is how is it going to affect these kids? Hamilton County already removed its kids this spring after a former employee was accused of sexual abuse. The current operator tells us after that it didn't make sense to keep running it. Its contract is up this year too. We as a society need a place like Hillcrest where we can put young men like this, teach them and help them grow up. On Tuesday, a first for juvenile court, a forum. If we are, if we turn a blind eye or just don't ask, what the community sees and wants, we are missing a huge opportunity to see our blind spots. At the podium. So just to see more grassroots programs be connected. Mixed ideas. There needs to be more of a collaboration of services. And pushback over how things were handled in the past. I'm representing students. We're here having a conversation about things that affect them and I don't see them represented in the room. 70 of our friends, 70 of people in our community who have now lost their jobs. Judge Carrie Bloom hopes a new provider could run operations next spring. We already have a program in place already. We could have came together collaborating and talking about what can we do to make this work instead of shutting the whole program down. So what comes next? Well, the court says they're going to take what they heard in these doors, come up with a list of what they're looking for, and then they've just got to see who puts in a bid. Madeline Natalie, WCPO 9 News.